Falcons. After we fly you about two and a half miles, we're going to land you right back on the deck over here, about three feet from my eyesight. Same way you took off. And a nice, comfortable seating arrangement. We have a flight harness that's like a padded swing seat. And this swing seat, treated like a swing seat on a very tall tree. We have a seat belt that locks you in there. It has two loose straps. Make sure that you don't wiggle out and slide. But if you do slide into those straps, they're pretty uncomfortable for us guys, okay? Not too comfortable for the ladies either. We're going to be wearing a life vest because the whole intent is to stay safely over the water the whole time. I have a 600 foot flight line. You'll be up 450 feet above the planet Earth and you will see 20 miles in all directions. Someone said they could see so far one day without a cloud. He swore he saw the back of his head. Okay, set that part. <laughs> anyway, while we're flying around out here, guys, uh, if you get too nervous up there, what you do is you put your arm out here and reel me back in. I would appreciate you using the entire... I just noticed your uh, toe polish here, this really bright orange, and that deep purple. Those are the same most popular Barracuda lure colors we have here down here, so when I dip your toes, make sure your color your tail is up a little bit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's a unique part of the whole world yeah. out here in Key Largo. We have Florida Bay. Actually, it's one of the largest saltwater estuaries on the planet. It's unique in the fact that just underneath the boat, until about the first island out here, it's only five to seven feet deep. 30 miles past it is the end of Florida at Flamingo, and that is only five feet or less. Again, one of the more remarkable parts of the world. Over behind me, we have the island of Key Largo. We have the Hilton Key Largo. On the other side of it, from the advantage point that you'll see up in the air, you'll see another five to six miles offshore, right to where the end of the North American continent. The island itself used to be the coral reef last time we had global warming. About 200, 225,000 years ago. Imagine the third story of these ho hotels and buildings nearby being the surface of the ocean. This was an inner coral reef. Now the last ice age started about 80,000 years ago, peaked 12,000 years ago. When it left, or peaked, it was uh, left over 117 feet of ocean water out of here into polar ice caps and a lot of ice cubes elsewhere. This would have been a shelf that you could have walked over there some nine miles to that green, I'm sorry, the blue streak that's way out there, which is on the Atlantic Ocean where the Gulf Stream is. This water here came back pretty suddenly. It's been like this for 4,500 years. About the same time, a couple of guys said, let's go out and build some pyramids. So while we're ready, we'll prepare ourselves to get played. This is always kind of neat. I'm going to need some help from everybody here on board the boat. About ready there, partner? Okay. All right, Jordan, we're about ready to go. I want everyone to take a deep breath in there. And on 